everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashikash back with another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you're notified every time your girl makes a post. With that being said, welcome to the video. Today I am doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna be talking about all of my like life updates, where I've been doing, school, work, new apartment, still single AF. All the little juicy details you guys want to know about my life. I mean, February 2021, life update. The first, I guess, quarter of the year is almost over. So this is like what I have to show for it, which is a bag of broken feelings. And you know, but I'm evolving and I'm growing and I'm like learning to be okay with that and just learning to be okay with everything. But if you guys want to hear more, definitely stay tuned. And this video was sponsored by this hair company. Definitely guys check them out. This is the hair facts from the hair. I really enjoy this wig. I customized it, dyed the ends. If you guys can see, I dye them myself. Um, I even cut the bangs in it because it is a full, it's a lace front wig, but like I made it like Oshakash, you know? I'm giving like, I feel like a whole different person with this outfit on, I mean with this hair on. If you guys want to know about this top, there should be a haul coming very soon. So y'all don't kill me in the comments. It will be a whole haul of where this is from. So stay tuned to my channel and let's get started. Hi. I don't even, oh snap. I'm going to do a very like nude, very natural makeup today because um, I have a lot of the outfits that I have I don't have a lot of colorful color in it. So I don't want to, you know, I'm not really, t I don't even think I'm really going to, I might take pictures, I probably will, I'm going to force myself to take pictures if I, since I'm doing my makeup, but not, it's not like, ooh, like, that's my main objective, my main objective is taking this video for you guys, so, life update, I don't even know where to freaking start, um, you guys know I moved out, I'm in this apartment, I love my apartment, having so much fun, living my best life. Um, being independent and black <laughs> in my apartment, it's, um, I'm having a good time. I, mean, I, I don't know, I can't complain. I mean, sometimes it's lonely, but other than that, um, it's not that bad, you know? I like making breakfast in the morning for myself. Like, breakfast is like the most important meal of the day for me, so I do that. I try to do that every morning, and what else? That's really it when it comes to, like, me in my apartment. I've been like trying out new hobbies. <laughs> Dropping stuff. I'm trying out new hobbies. I'm learning to like, I don't know, I'm young and I feel like I've always had my like heart set on one thing, which is cool, you know, but I also feel like also I'm young and I've had myself, like I've always been focused on one thing and you know, sometimes I want, I just want to elevate and evolve into better things and maybe YouTube isn't that for me. That's why I haven't been posting so I feel like YouTube is dying too. So it's like I don't even watch YouTube enough for me to feel like I want to post it. Like I'll watch TikToks before I'll watch a YouTube video and you know that's why I'd be on TikTok more than I'd be on here or like on Instagram. Like you know I just use other social media accounts. I feel like you guys do as well but you know I don't know, I'll be tripping, cause apparently y'all be wanting me to post and I just don't be knowing. So I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. I've been really focused on my energy and who I've given it out to. I usually, like you guys, if you guys don't know, your girl is a portable, okay? I party a lot. Um, I used to be really bad, especially before the pandemic. I definitely think the pandemic um, slowed me down. And because I'm not out here going to functions, I'm liking being a homebody, like that's cool too. But it's also, I'm young, I feel like I should be having fun, but it's like also hard since it is a pandemic to find new people. And I feel like I'm always, I don't know, and it's like the only time I'm able to meet new people are on the internet. And I don't think genuine people live on the internet. I want somebody off the internet. I want nobody with no followers. And I kind of feel like now lately, that like people don't like people that have followers. And now I'm going like, the more I go up the ladder of having followers and stuff like that, I'm realizing that I feel like they know you or can have this conclusion of who you are because you they you post on the internet. 
but it's like that doesn't mean that that's me that's just something i might post on it i feel like social media is fake in a way like like at this point we all know like you post whatever you want to post and you know you're only posting like your highlights and stuff so you know a lot of the stuff that you see on the internet you don't know how people are in those positions it might be just for a day it might just be for an hour you know like these people who aren't living like this like it's really like it's really a game which want to succeed in this field organically when other people are getting opportunities from buying it and it's just like damn do i need to buy my followers or is my organic reach not enough for um you know, am I not enough? You know, getting that feeling like, am I not enough? And that's a horrible feeling to have. Like, you know, I don't want to feel like I need the validation of social media to be who I am. So that's why I've been off of it recently. Like, now I haven't been as heavy as I am because it's like, it's like that is, it is in real life. And I feel like I'm really dope in real life and portray or be somebody else on the social media for anybody else, I don't know. And I, I don't know. I don't know. Should I play the game and just forget that this is a game? I don't know. Does that even make sense? Should I forget that it's a game and just keep playing it? Cause I feel like the more I was less aware of everything, it was fun. Now I know the game is like, oh, this isn't fun anymore. Comment down below if you relate. Cause I've been hanging out with a lot of like influencers now, and like we've all came to the same consensus. What's next when you base your damn whole life on this thing? You know, what's next? Like, yes, I got a degree. Thank God I went to school. And I am like, oh, with that being said, you guys, I was supposed to graduate um, this year, like I, last year, like I would know. Um, I got my commencement papers and stuff saying that I graduated, but I ended up failing one of my classes um, at Georgia State. I don't know. I don't think I failed because I made A's on everything, all the homework, all the tests and stuff. I feel like my teacher just didn't pay attention to my grades and just failed me because like I was just doing my stuff. I wasn't really participating in the class necessarily, but like participation grade is not and we're going, like, is, are we, is everybody, like, did he forget we're in a pandemic? I don't know, like, I don't know why he was to choose to fail somebody that actually worked. I'm sorry, I'm a little upset. But, like, you'd be upset too, though. You'd be upset too. So, I just, you know, and I didn't say anything about it because I was so hurt at the time. I, my emotions, like, run a lot of things. I'm trying to do better at that, but, yeah, I didn't say anything at the time. I didn't speak up, and then when I talked to my counselors, um, they said I could uh, ask him to review it, and then when I asked him to review it, he said it was it was too late. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to take a semester off, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking a semester off, and I only have one class, I only have three hours left, and then I'm going to finish it and do like a May semester, a summer semester, so it's just like super duper short, cause I, I, and it's cheaper, because I'd rather not pay for a whole semester, you know, and you know, pay more for just one class. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but I, when I start school and like the college life, I took a year off before I even started school. And then on top of that, I um, I hadn't taken a year, like any semester off. Like, from, I, take, I even took summer classes like throughout the two years that I've been doing it. So this is my first ever break since I started school. So I feel like I deserve it. To be honest, I do. I mean, I haven't, I haven't enjoyed not being in school and being able to like. I know. I don't know how do you, how if I don't know. Am I being lazy? I don't think so. And plus, I just moved out. Like I'm getting, I'm being coming an adult, and I'm you know getting introduced to life. I feel like this, me having this apartment has like been the most growth. I ever had I feel like life has hit me in the face I feel like I was very sheltered um from life in general and I feel like my my like eyes are getting open to a lot of things and like realizing like what I once thought was true isn't true anymore 
and it's, it's not, I love the growth. At first I was like, when I was little, and I don't know, not when I'm little, but you know, when I was younger, or whatever, I was always scared of like growth and stuff like that. I hated like just evolving. I just dropped that. And now I feel like I like it. It's like I'm getting used to the changes of life and getting used to like life being, you know, constantly moving. I don't know, I feel like when you're so used to like left being left and right being right, you don't realize that the world is not just like that. Like you you have to be open-minded because just because what you think is what it is doesn't mean everybody else thinks that way or everybody else is on the same page as you because other people like have different upbringings, different surroundings, like they've been in different situations where your thought process is completely different from theirs. So I feel like, I feel like if people were to be less um, judgy with people, they will be so much freer in life because they wouldn't have anything holding them back. Um, and that's just a little bit of what I've been learning, just being on my own and just learning, you know, being my friends, not having anybody to like really tell me anything. And it's also scary, like, being and also that doing that and also being my own boss. Like, I'm really doing a ton. And that's why I be thinking to myself, like, I'm really out here doing it and I am proud of myself and I forget to be proud of myself because I feel like I be caught up on everybody else and not focusing on like, bitch, you're doing a good ass job. Like, you're actually out here doing the, your, the damn thing. Like, I, I keep on comparing. I hate that. And I'm just trying to be working on that, doing soul searching. I've been meditating more. I feel like me meditating and like starting off my day better has really helped my, me as a person because I, I feel like it's just, it starts off my day by cleansing. I feel like I've learned that I'm an empath and by learning that I'm an empath, like I've learned to like cleanse my, my energy every day when I start my energy. So I listen to the 40, 432 um, frequency, HZ frequency, I can't say it, but you know what I mean. I listen to that every morning when I'm taking my shower, drinking some water. I might sage my um, apartment, sage myself. I always meditate, say my affirmations. You know, I do all a lot of that and I just pray throughout that, that morning. And I really tell, I just see such a big difference in my life just by doing that every day. It just makes me more centered. I need to do, um, a morning routine to like show you guys like what I'm talking about because like it's a whole shebang and it definitely turns up my morning like I feel like I get more blessings throughout the week and days when I do that because I'm always because you know it's just focusing a lot of that positive energy into yourself I don't feel like a lot of us do that it's, a, it's there it's definitely self-love I feel like I've been expressing a lot of self-love for myself, like knowing my worth, um, being able to say no. A lot of us have problems saying no. I feel like I'm, I'm easy to say no to people now. Like I am growing, and people, like, and I've been talking to my friends and like letting them in, and like it's cool. It's so dope. Like. I'm, I've been talking to my auntie, she's like 90, so I'm getting her a little insight on life. I'm just growing. I think I'm growing. I think I'm growing into the person I want to be. I'm becoming the better version of myself. This year, I didn't have any goals. Like usually, like every year of my life, I'm so goal, um, goal oriented. And this year, I'm not goal-oriented. I tell myself I don't want to limit myself by goals. And I want to just, you know, live my life. And just whatever happens, happens. And I feel like I have a lot of anxiety to, with that. But also, it's a beautiful, like, challenge that I'm doing to myself. Because I've never left, left, like, from, I don't know how long that I haven't, like, set up goals for myself. And, you know, really want to accomplish it. And I'm not saying setting goals is bad at all. Like, if you set goals, set goals, set goals. But I feel like... As a goal-oriented person, I feel like I let those it, I will let those goals rule my whole year, and I wouldn't experience anything else because I was so focused on my goals. And if I didn't hit my goals, I'd be disappointed. And that's again with the comparison. So now that I don't have any goals, I don't have anything limiting me in what I can accomplish this year because I have no, 
I don't have anything like set on my life. I'm not limiting my life. And with that being said, I feel like the goals that I had last year, I'm accomplishing this year faster because I'm not even like thinking about it. And I feel like that should be, that's kind of the same thing about money. That's what my friends have been telling me. I feel like I've always been focused on money, 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 money. And now they're telling me, a lot of my friends that are successful, they're always like, when I stop thinking about money, it starts to attract to myself or attract to them. So I'm like, okay. That's one thing, and I know I hate talking about it, but now I'm like, okay, I'm hearing you guys. Let me, you know, not focus on the bag and just, you know, literally just focus on being happy and just being just the best of me and like, you know, being just, I don't even know how to explain it, just living my life to the best ability. <sighs> I've been enjoying it. I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely, um, it's very stressful, but it's also rewarding to know that like, I'm really doing stuff on my time, on my, like what God has for me. I've been seeing my angel numbers, like, you know, I've just been, I feel like I'm walking in my purpose more. I feel like opportunities come to me faster because like, I'm not, I don't know, I am still chasing the bag. I definitely am still chasing the bag, but I need to start I need to remember that even though I'm not, I don't have goals and I'm not having a mission to do something, doesn't mean I need to stop working and motivating myself to keep grinding because the grind don't stop. But I've also had some bad, like I've been going through a lot of stuff too. Um, in general, I don't want to talk about it, that's why I haven't talked about it yet. But I've been going through a lot. Um, I just ended up in one, and to the point where. My life is so crazy that I wanted to write a book about it. And I think I will, like, I think I am gonna write a book. Um, I wanna, like, talk to some publishers and stuff like that and, like, get that in the works. Um, I wanna, I've been trying to start, I don't wanna say what I've been trying to do because I feel like every time I say what I'm trying to do or what I'm doing, it doesn't really happen in my life. But, like, y'all be praying all my downfalls, or not y'all exactly, but, you know, people, come into my life and see, hear what I'm planning or I'm plotting next. And I'd rather just surprise y'all. I'd rather just surprise y'all instead of like always doing these life updates and like telling you you guys everything. I know this is kind of like a journal, but Asha knows what I'm talking about. When you guys see it, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna point it back to this video and be like, you guys, this is what I was telling y'all about, but I didn't want to speak on it because it was an opportunity that I didn't want to just jinx on it. You know, I wanted it to happen organically without me like really putting it out in the world. Cause a lot of the times, like I said, when I put stuff out in the world, it doesn't happen. Like when I was doing YouTube with Kayla and we would do like get ready with me's, I would be like, I wanted to be prom queen so bad. And I just talked about it, talked about it, talked about it. And yes, it might have not been in my cars for me to be it, but I feel like because I talked about it on this, you know, on this social media um, platform, so many people heard my my dream and also prayed against it. So <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my lessons to myself. And when it's time to like show them, I'll show them. I feel like I'm so accustomed to just being the first person to be like, I did this first. And it's like, I don't really care about being first anymore. I'm care jealous about me being happy. And Finding my lover. I've been saying for like the longest on um, my um lives. I've been going stupid on live. If you guys don't watch me on Instagram live, please don't. I'm a hot mess. If, I definitely don't save my lives because I feel like if you catch my lives, you catching a treat. Like I'm definitely out there wilding. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely out there on on live acting a damn fool. Um, I, I need to slow down, I honestly do. Um, but it's actually fun. I actually even having fun with it, that's why. But, um, and my Instagram now does badges, so it's like I'm able to get paid for like everybody that's watching me online. But, um, yeah, we've been on, I've been on live and we've been talking, to, I was, I've been telling people how I want to be a housewife. I, not like, I don't want to be on the housewife. I just want to be a housewife. I just feel like it's so like, crazy to me that like a lot of women like 
don't pay their bills, like they bills, like they husbands and stuff be paying their bills. It's just like, ah, uh, their boyfriends and stuff. Like, I want a husband. I want them to. I want you to pay my bills, sir. Like, ice me out. I don't know why when I was doing my whole eye makeup, I was not even zoomed in because I'm probably zooming in a while when I edit. But yeah, so that's how I'm coming this year or just in general. And I know I'm too, they, and people have been saying I'm too young to be saying this, but like I said, like I've been in, now that I've been living on my own, like this is adulting. This is ghetto. Like. I don't know if I want to live in the ghetto anymore. <laughs> like, being a strong, independent woman, I thought this was the goal, thought this was the dream, but Sally, honey, it just looks like I'm doing everything by myself. And like Ari said in her song, we need people, like I need people, that's how I feel. Like we, I be trying to live like, but I need some people, I need people around me. I enjoy it. Am I, am I saying I want kids? No. But maybe I need to live with like some friends. I might live with my, you know, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I kind of want to be a, maybe a part of one of those little influencer houses. And like, you know, link with them. I just want to experience some more life. I feel like I'm not experiencing life to the fullest yet. Maybe that's, I don't know. I'm just be chatting sometimes. All right, I did this liner, cutthroat. I'm supposed to be meeting with a girl today, um, Lovely Dream. You guys know, if you guys follow her on Instagram, I'm supposed to be meeting with her today. That's also why I'm getting ready to get cute. So hopefully she comes today. I've been like, she's, me and her have been like flip-flopping on like me, just because I've been going out of town and she be busy, but I asked her today if she wanted to link and she said yes, so I'm like, now I'm getting ready, but better late than never. I had to go get, I had to go to my parents' house and get my own clothes that just got came in the mail. My phone's broken, you guys. I broke my phone. I need to go buy a new one. But like I said, adulting is sucks. I just need to be a bad bitch. Maybe I do want to just maybe. I don't know. I need to be independent. Whatever they be like, whatever you want, get to yourself. But it's like ugh. I like presents. Like I know what I want, but do I have to get it for me always? Mm. Like nobody. I'm always gonna give myself the presents. Like oh, okay. That's why I said this is the ghetto. I I need to get more eyeliner. Both my eyeliners are drying out. It's really the ghetto over here. I've been going through like failed relationship after failed relationship, and like I don't know what to do. I think I'm just gonna just like stop trying. Cause I'll be thinking, I mean, I'm finding me my husband or just finding me this man that's gonna just treat me right, and they just don't. <laughs> they just waste my time. I'm like, oh, that's what we're doing here. Oh, that's what we're doing here. Oh, cause I like if that's what we're doing here, I didn't I didn't sign up for this. This is not what I'm looking for. Like the other thing, I definitely didn't want to do but this. I know for a fact, I absolutely don't want to do this. Okay, so Tommy Gunna, this guy I met in my when I used to work at this um, store in Atlanta. He came in one day, he had lashes, I asked him, and they, like, he gave me some, and I loved him. I asked him for um, him to give me some more, and he def he sent me some, and these are in the style of diamond. Let me see, diamond, yeah. And this is what they look like. With his picture on it, period, right? I'm gonna have him linked in the bio, um, or linked down below. 
Oh, looky, looky. My phone is so messed up, you guys. I really need to get a new phone. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves in this um, live. I hope you're having a good time. I hope, well, it's not a live, but it, my, um, I hope this video is entertaining you so far. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. These contacts were TVDI. I'm about to start selling more stuff on Depop, you guys. So definitely below. Check out my Depop. Yes. I'm about to just put these lashes on, finish my base makeup, and then I'll be back. It did, but he also doesn't know that, like, I'm starving. So if you guys try something, like, it's not. What are you going to say? I mean, I don't know. Frankly, I really don't know. So. I'm just saying, what are you going to say when you, like, when this, when this situation. Oh, I thought you said, what do you think he's going to say? No, what are you going to say? Like, how are you going to be like, yeah, I just. I'm just gonna say, like, I'm literally gonna say that, like, yeah, I'm not, like, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> this is, have you used that line before? This is not gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Or, like, I'm celibate, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Because when I be saying it, niggas just don't hear it. No. I <laughs> I've used it twice. Two different niggas. And like, you haven't heard from him ever since after that, huh? Okay, this is the final look. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you stay today, drop some purple hearts so I know that you're a real astronaut. Um, and with that being, I hope you guys have a blessed evening and blessed night or blessed day, depending on what time you're watching this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. I have a great time with my life and I want to share it. Greatness is not this um, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us.